Hello everyone, I hope you all find. Today video I am going to talk about the deshuttering time of the RCC members. So if you have site experience, you know there are different types of uh, RCC members that we have used in the construction site. So it can be uh, columns, beams, uh, slabs, walls, ramps, arches, likewise uh, different type of RCC members that we are using in the construction site so what is the deshuttering time deshuttering means how many hours or days it will take to remove the formwork after the concreting so you have to make sure that concrete is come to the required step you can do the cube test if you want then you can make sure the extent of the concrete structure so and what is the importance of the uh, deshuttering time so if you can remove the foam work on time you can use those material to another structure like uh, you know aluminium or steel or plywood or foam work boards you can use to the another structure and uh, you know props aqua jacks u jacks p jacks uh, thread bar, pecan, those things uh, you can use to the energy structure if you can remove the formwork on time. Otherwise, you have to buy or rent out those material, those material again. So let's see uh, what is the deshuttering time of the uh, different RCC members. Okay, first we are going to talk about the vertical formwork of column, beam, and walls. And you can see in this picture columns beams and walls you can remove the vertical formwork of column beams and walls within 24 hours here we are talking about only the vertical formwork if we can consider the columns you know there are four vertical faces when we are considering the beams there are two vertical faces when we are considering the walls again there are two vertical faces here you can't remove the bottom form of beams you have to remove the vertical form only okay within 24 hours you can remove the vertical form only forms removal for slab within three days you can remove the form work but you have to fix the props again here you can see in this picture these form works this area the form work uh, had been already removed but the props are fixed again therefore within three days you can remove the form work but you have to fix the uh, props immediately forms removal for beams i told you before you can remove the formwork you can remove the vertical formwork of beams within 24 hours but if you want to remove the bottom formwork of beams you have to wait 7 days and immediately you have to fix the props again within 7 days you can remove the bottom formwork of the beam but you have to uh, fix the props again you can see here props removal for slab with span length and uh, I told you previous slide this one you can remove the formwork but you have to fix the props again in the slab okay here we are talking about total you don't want to fix the props but you can remove the formwork but you have to wait 7 days if the span length up to 4.5 meters if the span length beyond 4.5 meter you have to wait 14 days to remove the all formwork in slab here we are talking about props removal for beams and arches in the previous one I told you in beams vertical formwork you can remove within 24 hours this is this one 24 hours 
this one only vertical form work in next slide this one I told you you can remove the bottom form work within seven days but you have to fix the props immediately here we are talking about here we are talking about you can remove the total form work but if the span length up to 6 meter you have to wait 14 days to remove the all form work. if the span length beyond 6 meter you have to wait 21 days to remove the all the form work including buttons and uh, thank you very much please subscribe our site engineer channel